What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Bobby Hills Outdoors. Today we're headed down to Houston, Texas. Gonna drop off uh, my daughter's truck that we've been putting together, a little 2005 Chevrolet Silverado. Crew cap, half ton. Wish I would've got some video before, but I sent it off to a friend of mine in town. He's got a mobile auto color here in Bryan, Texas. And uh, he does painting and, and stuff like that. So he color matched all the bumpers, the door handles, and some other stuff on there. It's all white. There's still a few dings I need to get out. Um, I, I usually try to get uh, my buddy Pete to uh, fix the little dings and dents or whatever, and then I'll take it to Juan over there at Mobile Auto Color for him to fix. We'll fix those later. I want to get it, uh, the wheels and tires on it and uh, get it, the lift put in. These guys over there treat me pretty good price-wise and uh, quality-wise. I'm going to take it over there, have it done, go pick it back up next week. Y'all stay tuned. Here we go, Houston, Texas, dropping the truck off. I'll give you a little footage of the truck right here. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, this shit's fogged up. Two-wheel drive. Let me get that lift on it. Some of them American forces on it. Whatever kind of forest wheel they have there. Check it out. It's a good-looking truck, though. Had the bumpers color matched and all that. New headlights. All right, we're headed back to... Uh, pick up Hallie's truck, my daughter's truck, uh, down there in Houston. They said it would take about a day and a half. It's been almost two weeks now. Uh, they didn't have the lift kit in stock like they said they did, so they had to order it. So anyways, and I switched the wheels from 24s back to 22s, because I just don't think on the 33 it would have been enough sidewall for her first vehicle, and uh, I'd be replacing wheels left and right. Anyways, <clears throat> we're gonna head down here, see if the truck is ready. It's uh, about 9.30 now, they said it should be ready around lunchtime so we're gonna wait about an hour head down there hopefully it's done we'll bring it back to y'all when we get there so we're here they just pulled back in with the truck from the alignment shop and uh, they're gonna put the uh, caps center caps back on it they're gonna roll back out to Brian tired well marked Houston Texas All right, so we're headed back. Had to stop in Navasota for a little bit. Um, about 60 miles outside of Houston. The motor started knocking. Sounded like a bottom wrist pin knock. I'm not quite sure what it was, but uh, I called Cody back there. He's behind me in my Duramax. Uh, he brought the trailer. We were loaded on there. Went to crank it up and stopped. So anyways, take it over here to my buddy Chet's shop. Have him look at it. I don't know if Chet maybe thinks it might be a cracked flywheel, but now it's got me wondering if it might be something with the motor because now it's cooled down. I don't, I don't know. We'll see. I'll let Chet, I'll let Chet check it out and uh, see what he thinks. Uh, then we'll go from there. Silverado, uh, crew cab, half done. Short bed, anyways, it was bone stock, needed some paint and stuff, so we've been working on it. Juan over there at Mobile Auto Colors been getting me taken care of on color matching. Keith is coming over. He's right there. It's too so oh no, he's gonna hide behind the truck over there. He's coming in. Here he is, the master mechanic back there. Mm -hmm. Right now, the front, because it's a two-wheel drive from the factory, they sit kind of low. Anyways, we added the seven-inch rough country lift on this two-wheel drive. And you know, from the factory, this truck sits real low in the front, so it's having a problem right here to where it's rubbing, of course, like everybody knows. These are 22 by 12s with a 33 1250 tire on them, and um, I think it needs to come up about two more inches in the front because it's got a pretty hard rake. I don't really like the Cali lean too much, but uh, to get these to clear, I think I might level it out with a two inch or maybe just be a little bit higher in the front. We'll see. So Keith is gonna, oh yeah, I haven't updated anybody on this video, but we uh, color matched Juan over at Mobile Auto Color, color matched the front end, the grill, uh, all the bumpers, all the plastics, the mirrors, the door handles, the bed caps, the back bumper, can't, no, you can see it out here, it's kind of sunny, the uh, strip, the tailgate handle, I built these tail lights, so they're all right, it's all good. American Force, like I said, 22 by 12. I believe these were the uh, Luckies. And uh, my daughter, she bought the, the spike lug nuts and stuff to go on there. She liked that. Got a billet bow tie. We will be doing some teal color accents. Maybe like the bow tie and a little bit of the front suspension later. But anyways, right now, 
we're gonna put a, instead of a leveling kit, I just ordered uh, two inch lift springs and the upper, I forget what the, the A-arms were, but they're the correct upper A-arms for the, to adjust the camber right so you're not in a bind. Keith is gonna get after today. What do you think, Keith? You gonna get it knocked out? Gonna get it knocked out. All right. Anyways, we're gonna get started on it and uh, we'll come back to you. I'll kind of update you a little bit progress as Keith goes on with it and uh, I'll show you the parts we're gonna put in real quick. So yeah, the, the front control arms are Freedom Off-Road. Let me get these out of here. Here's the parts. Got the two inch lift spring. We're just gonna replace these. Instead of it being stacking another two inch spacer on top of uh, the already existing six inch spacer that's on there. Then I got this Freedom Off-Road upper control arms. It's gonna make the camera right for it. So we'll try that. We'll get those in there. So anyways, here's the truck. It's turning out to be pretty cool. Got new headlights and all that. So, it'll be good to go. All right, Keith's working on the springs. Trying to get springs out, got all the ball joints undone. Had to run to the auto parts store and get some uh, tie rod ends because they're worn out. Keith suggested to replace those. So it looked kind of bad. Getting down to the, the final uh, steps here. Keith's getting the shocks back in. Let me get that bolt. Mm, no, I'm gonna go on that side. I'm gonna try and get this on this side. So there it goes. I think we just gotta adjust the toe in a little bit. We'll be good to go. Just think about it, Keith. Gotta thank Keith here. He got it done. Put the springs, control arms on. Got it done. What you think about it, man? What do you I think about the parts? Good. Gonna be pretty good. Oh yeah. We'll get it. Now we'll uh, get these uh, wheels straightened up. Then uh, we're gonna do a little test drive in it. Drive about 150 miles an hour down the road, see if any of the wheels fall off. What you think about it, Keith? And I'll watch to see if you yeah. fall off. <laughs> yeah. Truck's dirty. Got to clean up underneath. I built the tail lights. Everything's color matched. Everything. 2005 Chevrolet Silverado halftime. Two wheel drive. All right, y'all. Well, Keith got it all wrapped up. We went on a test drive. Didn't fall apart. Rode like a dream. Everything's good. We went with the uh, Freedom. They're the three inch uh, off road, or three inch leveling kit uh, upper control arms. Went with those. And then we're with a two inch lift spring on top of the seven inch rough country lift. Uh, it did pretty good. Worked out real good. Ain't got no, uh, there's no binding going on or anything. Truck turned out real great. Now the main reason we did that was to uh, clearance this right here. So 
I got plenty of room. I don't have to trim that bumper there anymore. I did not want to trim into the bumper. So, and the truck is about level now. You see, it might be up maybe a half or inch or two inch. I don't know. It was raking pretty hard. That's a two inch lift spring. So actually it's like putting a two inch leveling kit on them. Basically, right? Yeah. So it's good. It's clearing. We ain't tearing the bumper up anymore. Just had one touch all that up over there in mobile auto color. And uh, it's going to be good. I think she's going to like it. Ain't going to have to worry about tearing up no more sheet metal. Anyways, y'all, thanks for watching this episode of Bobby Hills Outdoors. We got plenty more other stuff back here that we need to start working on. Keith's going to start getting on my butt if it sits around too long. And because uh, he always, he's always like, man, just sitting there, dog. Just sitting there. <laughs> so we're going to get back on the dually. We got the custom control arms over there from Michigan Metal Works. The race truck is almost about ready to go back to clean at J2 Motorsports to finish up the turbo. And uh, some other goodies. Holly EFI computer system. Stuff like that. Y'all, thanks for watching this episode. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Something you want to see. Drop a comment in the box below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit the little bell right next to it. Let you know next time I upload, upload a new video. And we'll see you on the next one.